hello guys welcome to another video and uh, I wanted to show you my recent update to the Raldoron deck and uh, I use it to climb the ladder I actually gained a lot with it I think it's really strong and uh, it's uh, also a lot of fun to play so let's go into the deck um, I think that my older guide needs an update because I got uh, a lot of neutral cards uh, like Duke uh, Mortecher or uh, Malkial Malgator that uh, previously I did not have and uh, they I think are a really nice fit so about uh, the deck itself uh, mainly with Raldron you can go two ways or you go mm, mainly for a Requiem build or a uh, um, drop pod uh, build using Hermia that, uh, which is this card here that boosts your uh, drop pods by one health and also the Melero squad that I actually lack which is this thing here and Melero squad also gives uh, one health uh, uh, to every drop pod you play but uh, I wanted to go with a bit more interesting and uh, maybe less uh, um, common build but but I also think that this deck is incredibly fun to play and uh, has some uh, YOLO moments that uh, I think make it, make, make it worth uh, to run it so uh, let's go into the core of the deck Escape Vent. Escape Vent is an amazing card you um, so often see uh, like Exodus with it or um, uh, Horus but I do think that actually uh, playing it with uh, Raldoron or even Askelon can make uh, the life for your opponent really uh, really hard because you have two great cards that can be escape vent and these are Elianus who is amazing this card is incredibly strong and sanguinary guard also um, you can also stealth other cards like uh, angel tears this card is gonna be a, pr a prime target for the opponent you can stealth uh, Ferveus Command Squad that, that, and actually maybe get one or two draws out of it. Or you can, you can stealth even Medidus Squad in order to get another another free drop for later in the game. <clears throat> also Duke can be stealthed and if uh, this is buffed uh, by plus one, uh, it's a 5-8 and with the stealth it's almost impossible for the enemy to take down and is almost guaranteed to survive a turn so about the troops instead we have Drakeo squad incredibly good troop one energy uh, it's fast help, helps you uh, swing the tempo back and uh, makes a great combo with the Ferveus command squad and angel tears especially angel tears this is if the enemy has no board, it's a 5 damage to face, so it's uh, it's really good. Then we have Malkial. This can completely snowball games uh, uh, for you, because you can play one, uh, one above curve. Uh, Melgator, same thing. He can bounce and gain you a lot of tempo. Also, early plays are, are nice. Magidu Squad is a great troop and uh, mm, I think that it's maybe one of the best three, three drops in the game so I think that you definitely want two of these then we have Jupak because uh, it's strong and there is not much to say about Jupak it's a prime target for removal Pi Alpha is a uh, here for mainly for unstunning because I found that uh, against Alpha Legion uh, without at least one Pi Alpha the life for you becomes incredibly difficult Elianus as I said earlier prime target for escape vent 
but also you can activate it, it immediately with Fervous Commands code, which is also your draw engine. Then you have uh, Angel Steers, incredibly strong uh, um, card that uh, can uh, deal an incredible amount of damage. And there is one game in which uh, you see the power of this card. Uh, then we, we have Lorator Squad. Um, I do not have um, Morita Tyborel, so I do think that this uh, is a nice addition. It's a 5-5, very beefy, uh, it's flanking if it's uh, your only troop, and also it's unstoppable, so it can uh, kill things behind frontline. I do think that it's a nice, it's a nice fit in order to kill something and have a beefy, bo a beefy boy um, on your side of the board. Mortaker is really beefy and uh, the only downside of it is uh, Malgator, actually. Otherwise, it's just a great value. Spear of Telesto, two of, because uh, it's our main removal, and uh, in some matches you need bo both of these. In some matches you... <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's better not to have these, like Mortarion or, uh, uh, or Angron, but even then they have some niche applications such as uh, removing uh, um, the Dreadnought uh, Lorg. Um, Sanguinary Guard, uh, it's maybe the best 7 drop in the game, so you have to play this card. Host of Angels, uh, it's really good, it needs no explanation. It's uh, your refill and uh, uh, your uh, late game play. Crimson Spectre is an amazing card again. Uh, all uh, um, Bloody Angel Legendaries are really good. Crimson Spectre allows you to board wipe, uh, heal your Warlord, uh, go for a final for damage. Um, Jofial is uh, the 9 drop that you want uh, uh, to see in the late game. It's incredibly good. Uh, if the enemy doesn't remove, remove this immediately, it wins you the game. Uh, then for the spells, we have Command, Command, Command Bridge. Uh, that uh, finds you what you need. We have Prophecy Revealed for Anti-Stealth. We have uh, one of because I think that it's, uh, it's a dead card in so many matches that uh, I do think that playing two is actually a, uh, a mistake. Raven Guard isn't that, that common and actually even against Alpha Legion you only really need one because of um, Stealth and um, Serpent Squad, and you can deal with the rest. So, um, we have one last stand. This card it's amazing if you can combo it with the Lyanus or Sanguinary Guard, um, and this can win you the game outright. And also, since you play Escape Vent, you always have a stealth body uh, that you can boost with the last stand. Then uh, we have Double Shock Assault uh, because we need damage in the late game and this gives us uh, some reach. Also the boost uh, to, the, to our troops in, is nice uh, if we happen to shoot a troop. And this was the deck because I, uh, I already covered Host of Angels and Spear of Telesto. And now let's go into some games. Uh, first of all, the Vulcan deck. The, Vul the Vulcan uh, matchup. This was incredible, I think. And really shows you the power of Radoron and as and the and of Blood Angels in general. So we we want to ditch everything but a Fervous Command. We want early game in order to establish our late game. He starts, so this is not good for us, but we get a counter-attack, and you, we can play with this. And also be, because we have double Fervous Command Squad. So here I took the Judgment of Angels, because I think that I can make use of this card. 3 damage is not gonna help me that much, I think, and uh, the... Um, the last card was Hermia, and I don't think that against DD Vulcan 
Hermia is that good. So also Urdra Cool can simply smack uh, my troops for taking no damage in return. So I don't actually care that much about this. So he boosts the um, health of uh, Surkar hunters and uh, he smack me in the face. But this is a mistake because now I can play Jubak and actually smack this. And he cannot create the one drop that he wants to create. The two, uh, and also dealing with Jubak at the same time. So he has to choose and he decides to do uh, two damage to Jubak and play a 2-4. And now we can do a little bit of combo. We can play Farewell's Command Squad and smack everything. Actually, we are going to draw two, two cards out of it. And I, I'm hoping to draw the drop pod guys in order to slingshot them with uh, the Farewell's Command Squad. This card is incredibly good. He plays the Vulcar squad, we can deal with that. With Shock Assault, we have the Last Stand. We also have a Lurator squad, but we decide to Melgator. This gives us another body for uh, drawing, and also we heal the Farewell's Command squad, and we can deal another 3 damage to him. This guy already draws us 2 cards, and um, dealt 6 damage to the enemy's face and he has to replay the Vulcar squad and now we got a Lyanus and this, this is gonna be great so a Lyanus kill this stun him Um, fire drakes it's simply gonna die with uh, Elianus and uh, Ferveus. I actually don't want to draw again because I am I almost at full uh, full hand we can drop uh, uh, angel steers and actually deal uh, a lot of damage to Vulcan also if he wants to kill uh, Eli he has to smack in the face and take another three but he bounces back the Angel Steers. And he plays another Vulcan squad. We are getting lower uh, cost uh, sp um, of Spear of Telesto, and this is fine. We play the Orator squad, we smack this, we smack with face, I think. And then we pass. We could have uh, last stand, but I don't think that it's worth for uh, killing Melgator. So this is not uh, amazing because uh, uh, now Vulcan is striking really hard. But we have double Angel's Tears and uh, also Malkial uh, as a cheap troop uh, can come in handy. Angel's Tears and now we can deal this and buff the, the tears. I think that now he draws the the Ashen Bones, so it is gone, and these are discounted. I do still have a little bit of uh, of room, but anyway, I'll play um, the Angel Tears and buff everything. And now I only need one turn. And he wants to smack me in the face actually, so... And now definitely wants, so... This is gonna be a lot of damage. So, Spear of Telesto on Yuria. Then we can sack Malkial. Now he... Angel Steers is the only troop on the board. We can play Last Stand. And this is actually going to do 12 damage. Plus I have 4 in hand. And 2 in play. Hey. 
and people don't uh, usually expect such a burst coming down from uh, from blood angels so another um, this was a nice game versus Shabran I think Shabran is a tricky matchup it's not uh, great it's not uh, bad mainly uh, if you can draw your combo pieces it's okay otherwise it's uh, gonna be pretty rough I do think that actually I played three games today versus Ra uh, Shabran I won two I lost one because I keep bouncing his uh... now this is particularly bad because we have no answer for it so I'm just gonna drop two back and hope that uh, he does something about it and it draws the cat bikes which is not great but whatever and he actually has no survival which is the way I the the, the, the reason I did not play the counter attack also I can do it now and buff them with shock assault in order to get two tutus that actually are not that bad since he already used the one uh, no survivor it is unlikely that uh, he has both copies in uh, five cards so this isn't amazing but actually can uh, make us snowball a bit with uh, my little squad 5-4 is pretty good so Meridus buff it and this plus this kill uh, Argus Brond so I'm not actually that uh, scared my health pool is really low though okay so Kaizu Lane plus uh, Lorke is uh, pretty bad, but I can kill Lorke right, right away with Meridus. Otherwise, I can simply bounce it back and actually smack for face and equalize a bit the, um, the life points because he is very ahead and uh, I cannot uh, afford to struggle to deal damage in the later stages of the game I don't think that this was the maybe the correct play oh he plays the speeder right so now he cleared the board basically and I did do not have actually a well I drew angel steers which is nice And now I can kill my own Melgator in order to buff both of these. I could have also played Angel Steers plus Malkial, but Malkial at this stage of the game is not that impressive and the three heals from Pi Alpha can actually save my life if he plays protocols on the speeder. So now we can we have a lot of uh, power coming out so we can play sanguinary guard smack this kill it with uh, warlord power S smack for six and uh, auto kill the lord squad and actually you can stealth uh, the sanguinary guard and next turn this plus my auto attack are 10 damage and plus shock assault is 14 so pretty confident that, that uh, we can take him out he goes for the 33% and fails and now I don't think there is a way he can deal with that so he can deal 9 uh, yes he could have won if he got me in the face but the fact is with that with uh, Shebran you often rely, re rely on a coin flip and I, I personally do not like that much that style of play but whatever and then yes two versus Shebran and uh, this was a mirror match um, um, this was a pretty one-sided game 
actually um, um, let's see against a mirror match so if I am correct he was playing the Hermia version He starts first, so we are actually already in trouble because our counter attack can feed um, his ability and pump his troops. We can get actually some really goodies from uh, Imperium Secundus, so I'll take that. Our end though is really nice, we can simply uh, do that because we have no um, turn to play, so we are fine. Also we can play this and make a 2-2, so he can't uh, um, deal one and kill this. Okay, he wants to draw, that's fine. We still have a, a really good end, so it's fine. Um, also, Ferveus Command Squad is pretty hard to take down, uh, considering that Blood Angels do not have unlimited amount of burst, so... Okay. That will do it. And now we can show why Melgator is such a strong card. We bounce this and actually deal to the to the face. He replaces the Meditus and gives foresight to, him, to himself. Now we I have four health uh, to chew through. But still, I have the coin flip, so don't really care. Also, I can stealth the angel steers if needed. I lost the coin flip. I'm stealthing the angel steers. Now, if he um, kills this with his ability, I can simply kill his troop back, so he wisely don't, doesn't do that. Though we are not in a great position, we can break two capsules actually, and uh, we drew the Spear of Telesto because going stealth isn't gonna help that much now. But Spear can be really useful considering that we already have two Astartes on the board and one of them at least is surely gonna die, so... Shock Assault is annoying. Considering that I do not kill any of these troops is even more annoying. And now my my hand is not uh, looking too great, but Prophecy Revealed now is really nice. This I think was a pretty big mistake, because if I drop so something really big you need to answer it and uh, you may actually need these three damage. So now Prophecy kills and uh, we drew Medidus squad and actually we can play this plus Malkial and uh, next turn we have host of angels so that's not so bad he plays also satellites kills Malkial doesn't kill uh, the Meditus squad Now, I decided to go for Host, I could have gone for uh, Jofial, but I didn't see um, any Spear of Telesto and I wanted to save it from for, for the time when at least one of these is gone because not that many players play two Spears and there it is, so 
it's actually pretty safe here to play the spear. We deal one, deal two, Crimson Spectre, so we don't activate any Requiem. Because I don't want him to draw and I don't want him to kill my troop for, for free. Then we smack. And now I have uh, an incredibly strong turn with uh, double spear. And I can drop Jofial or I can drop uh, Moritat. I could have also gone for Ferveus plus Moritat, maybe it was better. But now there isn't much you can do unless you draw um, the, um, the Spear of Telesto. And as you can see, uh, you can make very short games out of, uh, of this deck. I do think that it's pretty good, um, needs to be refined a bit uh, still, but I think that uh, this is uh, it's nice. Also, uh, the thing that uh, you, s you can struggle the most is the curve, because uh, if you do not uh, draw any 3-drop or any 2-drop, uh, early game can be a bit rough. Uh, maybe you could uh, ditch uh, um, something in the high cost department and play um, um, these guys that actually synergize really well with uh, Raldoron's ability. Um, or maybe you could ditch the Pi Alpha and uh, um, maybe the Orator Squad, because it's good, but uh, am among the cards that you have here is the one that uh, maybe it's not gonna swing a game for you. So I do think that maybe cutting these two and putting two last rifles uh, might be better. Um, I do not like single last rifle, because it's not uh, that, co that consistent. Um, single Pi Alpha, it's uh, clutch in certain situations, last rifle is not. So if you want to include a one-of, it's uh, a one-of that actually makes the difference uh, if you draw it. And Pi Alpha or Last Stand are such a cards, but you also do not want to, do, to draw two. You do not want two Last Stand in your hand and nothing on the board, so this is definitely a one-of. Also, Pi Alpha against certain uh, Warlords is completely useless, so it's fine not to have two and have only one. Um, but yeah, that was the deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, uh, if you liked the video, uh, leave a like uh, and uh, subscribe, and uh, uh, see you next time.